Thank you. Thank you. You came. <laughs> that was an old Scandinavian folk song. I'd like to think I put my own spin on it, but... But what's the point? I mean, you saw these schmucks up here. They look right through me. I'm invisible. Powerless. Like a gay Republican. <laughs> I'm a dead guy stuck in the world of the living with nothing and no one to share it with. All I want is for someone, anyone, to look my way and say, hey, I see you. I accept you. I fear for my safety around you. <laughs> because dead or alive, you don't got someone who really gets you, then you're gonna feel lonely and worthless and you'll never reach your goal weight because you eat when you're sad. <laughs> I'm talking about. <laughs> but here's the good news. I found a way to make everyone see me. All I gotta do is get a living person to say my name three times, and I've got a plan. See that tiny little house back there? Well, it's a lot bigger on the inside! them for a while and oh yeah no it's been very creepy and now finally they're about to die they're gonna be my new best friends Barbara! on his tractor. I was like, pick a lane, Bill. Isn't this incredible? It's the last day of their entire lives and this is what they're talking about. So, crazy story. I get all the way to Howard's store and Howard tells me that they're out of stock. Oh, no. But I asked Howard Jr. to check in the back for me. Smart. So, uh, he sends little Howard the third. and long story short, I got the last bottle of Manchurian tongue oil. See, this is what life is. It's just a bunch of Howards and then you die. <laughs> They're both gonna get it. It's gonna be so good for all of us. Hey, old girl, let's get you finished. Finished? Adam, we are just getting started. <laughs> Look at this crib. Look, it's glorious antiquary. Every curve and surface speaks to me. Saying pamper and spoil me, sand me and oil me. Come on. Untrained eye, it's boring, but nothing's a chore when you're restoring. Apart from frustration, pain, and financial drain, it's fun. Folks say, Adam, why do you polish your crib when you don't have a kid? And even if you did have a kid, this crib is too precious for placing a baby inside it, so simply exists to remind you your sense of perfection is just a reflection that you are not mentally prepared to make room for a kid. Take the next step. Ready, set, ready, set. Big news! That was the O'Brien's calling. Oh, don't worry, you'll have this crib ready before that baby gets here. She had it yesterday. Oh. Oh! That's great! But I'm gonna guess there's no rush. You want some lunch? Maybe a sandwich? One sandwich coming up. Spoiler alert, she's never going to eat that sandwich. <laughs> Look at these jugs! <laughs> Manifestation of motherly panic by making a baby that's breathable. Are you creating a way of transmitting the terror of making maternal mistakes into clay? Hiding a way so you don't have to face being a bad mom? Boy, 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 just make a start. Are you willing to take the next step? Ready, set, here we stand at the end of a ten year plan. Our house, we are. Not yet. Not yet. 
I rush. I rush. Soon enough our hopes and our dreams will be crushed. I'm not yet. Not yet. Not now. Not now. Family in a house with creaky floorboards. You are absolutely right. Let's add to the list with the bounce and the blaster. The life I should be faster. The soul 